Here we are in positioning mode. You can see as it's indicated on the screen. Using the right joystick, when we manipulate it left and right, it's going to move the main boom. We push it forward, it'll move the main boom up and down. When we take the toggle switch here, the thumb switch, that's going to move the secondary boom up and down. These buttons have no function for the right joystick in positioning. Still in positioning mode, we now have our left joystick. When we manipulate it towards us or to the right, it's going to be the feed side to side. Forward and back will be forward and back or your feed dump. The thumb switch on this one will move the feed straight up and straight down. When we push this bottom button, you can see we're not in alignment and perfectly plumb. It's for the auto positioning and it will bring you to zeros or whatever you have prescribed in the screen. When we're in drill mode using the left joystick, there's several functions that can be done. We've got forward and back for our rod transfer arms. There's a trigger on the front which will open the clamps for the drill pipe or drill steel for the rod transfer arms. Pulling it back brings it to drill center. Pushing forward pushes it to the carousel. When we manipulate to the left, that will be adding rods to the carousel. To add rods to the drill string, we go to the right. When we pull back to the drill center and then hold back, that will be your hard clamp. Again, pushing forward brings it back to the carousel. The top button is for the top centralizer. Pulling it back opens it up. Pushing it forward closes it. Same process for the lower centralizer. Push the middle button, pulling it back opens it. Pushing it forward with the button depressed closes them. This button right here is for the one hole automatics which will add drill rods all on its own once you start the drilling process. The thumb switch in drilling mode raises and lowers the dust pot and pre-cleaner assembly close to the ground for drilling and then you lift it back up when you want to go to positioning and go to your next hole. Here we are now in drill mode on the screen. With our right selector we can do a couple different functions. This will be the joystick that you use for drilling. When you pull it to the left you'll begin your rotation in air. To stop that there's a trigger in the front and it will shut off all functions. Manipulating the joystick forward will bring the drifter down. Pulling it back will bring it up. Going forward on a 45 degree angle will be for threading. Going rearward on a 45 degree angle to the right will be for unthreading. This button here, pulling down is for low impact. Pushing forward is for high impact. This will turn on flushing air. This one right here is when you select for tripping out of the hole and extracting rods. You can see the icon light up on the screen. The top button here is for zeroing our hole once we have the bit touching the top of the ground. When we press it, the screen may pop up. We want to re-zero it and now we're zeroed for the next hole. If you need further assistance, please contact your local EpiRock Service Center or the dealer in your area.